All right, so we're going to have a look at how to get Basehead working alongside Pro Tools so we can start transferring files uh, to our project. So after everything's uh, installed and set up, if we've got a project open, uh, the first thing we want to do is go into the options. And then we want to open up the project settings. So if we go to setup and go down to session in Pro Tools, what we'll see here is the sample rate and the bit depth that we're working in our project, 48 kilohertz and 24 bit. What we need to do is make sure that we have the transfer settings set to the same as well. Uh, so basically anytime we send files out of Basehead, we transfer them into our project, it is going to transcode the files to this format. And in our project, we need all of our content to be matching at the same format. Uh, the next thing we need to do is just make sure that obviously we have got our door selected here. And uh, if you're using one of the latest versions of Basehead, if you happen to notice this little warning symbol, what this means is we've got some security preferences in macOS that haven't been configured correctly. Uh, so if I click on this, it actually shows me that uh, I have two problems here, which is accessibility and automation. So these two security preferences aren't configured to allow Basehead to talk to other applications. Uh, but in older versions of Basehead uh, that don't have this option here, if you're having issues with spot to track, uh, what you wanna do is manually check the security preferences. So when I open up the security preferences here, give permission, it's gonna open up my security preferences and I would just go in and select the option. And once I've got this option selected here, I also need to go down to automation and just make sure that I've got base head selected to control Pro Tools here as well. And so as mentioned before, what you can do if you're still having issues with uh, spot to track or transferring files from Basehead into Pro Tools is just go through the uh, options here. The ones that you're looking for is accessibility. Also check in files and folders to make sure that Basehead has full disk access, uh, screen recording, and automation. So if Basehead is uh, listed in any of these, it must be checked for everything for it. Now, if you're still having problems and base head is actually checked in all of these options, try and simply open it up, deselect base head from all these options, lock the preferences, then unlock it and reselect base head again. For whatever reason, this can work in some cases, uh, but it's worth a try if you're still having issues after checking all of these. And with all of those checks in place, uh, we see here that the warning has gone away. If I now go into my files here and try and spot, um, th let's just say this region here. Uh, so if I press the S key, what this will do is this will now send this piece of audio, whatever we selected or whatever is loaded into the waveform onto the timeline, wherever we have placed our cursor. Now, just one more thing to check in uh, Pro Tools if you are having uh, any other issues. Uh, just up in the setup again, if we go down to preferences, what we need to just check is on the processing tab here, uh, if we come down to this miscellaneous option here, parallel task optimizations, just make sure that this option is set off. So one other thing just to point out in the options, uh, if you're relatively new to Basehead uh, before you have the issue of files maybe going missing in your projects is to make sure that uh, you understand things like the option uh, reference file when possible. So this option here will cause your project to actually reference the original file as long as no changes or selections have been made to the file. So if you're spotting the original file and it doesn't actually have to be transcoded, it's at the same sample rate as your project settings, then when you send the file across, it will actually create a reference to the original on your hard drive. Now that means that uh, it doesn't have to continuously copy files, but it will reference the original. So if that original does happen to move, let's say you update or do something to your library and that reference actually moves, then it may break your project. So if you want to make sure that all of your files are copied into your project folder, uh, make sure that the reference file when possible option is deselected and also have the option to follow the session folder selected. So what this will do is when this option is checked, it will change the transfer folder location. So the location where transferred files are stored, when we um, press S or T or transfer files out of Basehead, it will change it to the project folder settings. 
So you can see here the um, project that I've got open here, it has the path set here. So all files will now be put into the audio files folder within my project. And lastly, it's recommended to just have the option create unique file names set to one to avoid any potential issues. Now, if you're still having any issues that you can't resolve, uh, I highly recommend getting onto the uh, Basehead website. So Basehead inc.com and just go to the knowledge base. So you can find the knowledge base here under support and under knowledge base. Uh, we have the entire user manual as well as a lot of questions about licensing, um, frequently asked questions, especially door related questions, things like that. Uh, so you might find that uh, if you have a Mac specific issue or a PC specific issue, you may find that there is already an answer waiting for you here. So definitely check this out first. Uh, and then if you're still having issues, you can contact us by using the having issues link and then just fill out a uh, support request. Thank <laughs> you.